We're going to take you now to San Antonio, Texas, where authorities have been providing an update after more than 40 bodies were found in a truck. So the first call came in at about uh, 10 minutes to 6 this afternoon. Uh, fire a, a worker uh, who is works in one of the buildings up here behind me uh, heard a cry for help, came out to investigate, found a, a trailer with the doors partially open, uh, opened them up to take a look and found a number of um, deceased individuals inside. So we have three people in custody. We don't know if they are absolutely connected to this or not. Um, this investigation has been turned over to HSI. It is now a federal investigation. Turned it over to them about probably two hours ago. But right now we've got three folks in custody. Um, and again, this is all preliminary information. I want to turn it over to Chief Hood. Uh, good evening, Charles Hood, San Antonio Fire Department. Approximately 6 this evening, San Antonio Fire Department responded to 9600 Quintana Road for a report of a dead person. Engine 52 arrived and uh, found the trailer, as Chief McManus mentioned, uh, with a body outside and, and several that they could visibly see inside once the doors were opened. Um, at this time, we have processed approximately 46 bodies that have been triaged and tagged and uh, declared deceased at this time. Fortunately, we were able to transport 16 people. 12 of those are adults and four pediatric. All of them were conscious at the time upon transportation. Uh, first patient was transported at seven minutes after six, with the last one being transported at uh, 6.57. So a mass casualty with the triage involved, it went very smoothly and very quickly. The patients that we saw were hot to the touch. They were suffering uh, from heat stroke, heat exhaustion, uh, no signs of water in the vehicle. It was a refrigerated tractor trailer, but there was no uh, visible working AC unit on that rig. Uh, at this time, we have uh, released all our companies back in service. We use approximately about 60 firefighters, 20 fire engines, and 10 medic units of which we transported uh, to various local hospitals uh, throughout this city. So it is our hope and prayer that the conditions of those that were transported will improve as we speak. Uh, we are currently putting those 60 members through critical incident stress debriefing. Again, uh, we're not supposed to open up a truck and see stacks of bodies in there. Um, none of us come to work imagining that. So we're working through the uh, behavioral health for our folks right now. Uh, I'll turn this back over to Dr. Garcia and answer any questions that you may have later. Can you just confirm that the number, the numbers that, that you just gave? Yes, sir. 16 transported, uh, 12 of those adults, four pediatric, and uh, 46 that are deceased. Chief, what were the conditions of those that were transferred? Uh, all heat-related injuries and uh, no fatalities of peds that we know of. Thank you. Buenas noches, soy la concejal Rocha García del Distrito 4 y estamos aquí. Okay, that's where we'll leave that conference out of Texas there, that harrowing news out of San Antonio, Texas. More than 46 bodies found in a truck there. Three people are in custody, but police saying they're, they're unsure as yet of their connection to this event. 16 people, and four of them children, have been able to be transported from the scene to get some medical help. Uh, they say they had suffered heat exhaustion. Uh, the truck had no air conditioning and no sign of water there, according to authorities.